everybody, it's Ryan the Water Boss here from Works Paint Shop coming at you with another walk. In today's walk, I'm going to be painting some frog folk from Cute Loot Miniatures. He did some STL files um, that he was nice enough to let me have. And I told him, hey, you know what? I'm going to make sure I get these out and around for you. So if you guys haven't seen the frogs I've been working on on Instagram, please go check out Cute Loot Minis on Instagram or My Mini Factory and give him some like and some love. He makes some pretty cool miniatures. He does like a bard. You've got wizards, you have shamans slash chieftains, you've got warriors, you've got dagger folk, you have an assassin, you have a thief, you have a rogue, um, all these wonderful models. I highly recommend checking him out. He's a very good STL printer. Um, so give him a like, give him a share, give him some love. Um, and I'll get started on working on one of these, but don't forget, I now have a Patreon, so if you want to like and subscribe to this channel, please go check out Patreon as well. That helps me out. It gets me some hobby supplies, some UV resin, um, and puts it towards getting you guys more wonderful content. So go check that out if you can. Um, and once again, thanks for joining us. All right, so I first grab my Void Shield Blue, and then after I grab my Void Shield Blue, I, uh, I go ahead and I start hitting this with a single base coat. I get all of his skin, um, and this is just going to be a, a three coat process. So once I coat it with the three colors, I make sure that I hit all of it. Um, as you can see, when I do the first coat, it's very, very thin, very, very light, um, and it doesn't stick completely. So you can still see the black coming through. Uh, and you know, you just want to make sure you get it nice and solid. This right here it doesn't mess with any of the other colors that you're going to add to the model. I then come in with leather brown and I focus on doing parts of his, um, you know, like cloak, his loincloth, taking care of that. And I do a nice thick two coats of that. And then I do a single coat on his weapon. This way here, it gives that a nice dull color to start off with. Um, and then I move on to the next color. I then come in with oak brown, which I'm going to use to darken the weapon down and make it look more like a wooden club than a leather club. What I do here too as well is I make sure that I also hit his belt and his um, straps that go up to his cloak. This way here, and it's nice and connected. And it gives a base coat to that which distinguishes it different from the blue that I use for his chest and his skin. Alright, so I then come in with matte black to do his eyeballs and make them really dark like the poison arrow frogs. And I then begin to take my brush and make different types of sizes and shapes for spots all over his body. This is going to cover up some of the lighter areas of the blue that I did for the three coats. And then it's also going to give him that added little texture that makes him just kind of pop versus being a dull model. After I finished with the matte black, I then grab Moot Green to give his wraps and some of the stuff that he holds around him a nice green contrast to the blue. It came out real nice and it all melted together very well as the green looks amazing on his arm. I then come in with Phoetian Purple and I do his shoulder pad purple this way here again. It kind of contrast with the lime green but doesn't contrast with the nice blue that he has for a coat and it kind of just makes the shoulder to pad be a center of darkness and kind of stands out a little bit on this model. Again I try not to hit the spikes because I'm going to do the spikes a different color as I do his shoulder pads purple. I then take uniform gray to do all the spikes in a nice gray color as well as I'm going to do a little bit on his eyes this way here, his eyes look nice and dark. Kind of glossy, I should say, actually a little bit dark. I then come in with some Hydra Toy Coys to go ahead and do the base and make it look swampy and muddy. After I do the Hydra Toy Coys all around the bottom of the base, I do come back with a dry brush and hit some brown on the tops to kind of make it look like muddy water. Um, I also mixed in some of the brown and green into the turquoise to kind of make it that murky looking kind of water. All right, now that's done. The warrior is all good and taken care of. So, well, I should say the war chief is all good and taken care of. I, uh, I did him as a poison tree frog due to one of my followers on Instagram. Said it would be cool to check out that kind of thing. And I've actually done a few of them that way now. Um, 
but this guy was kind of a sneak peek surprise for you uh, to see which frog I was doing next, so I hope you guys like that. Once again, if you enjoyed the content on this channel, go check out my Patreon and support me. Also like and subscribe to the channel, and check me out on Instagram. I do have a link tree if you need, it should be down in the description if you want to find any of my work or any of the things that I post and broadcast on. Um, so hopefully you guys like this. This is Ryan the Warboss coming at you with a WOG!